There are ways we can pick and choose the things that we're going to give our attention to. But the biggest way to be powerful is to realize it is all woven together to be part of a holy, wholesome world. And the only way we have penetration into that holy, wholesome world is to be glorified by thine own self. This is what it is to be a human being, to be glorified with the self of all that is holy, to be in this world, part of it, and, and be bringing the, the mastery of caring for the weaving, caring for the, the sacred pieces that fit together perfectly. We are designed as people to be part of a joyous constellation of being, which would mean everybody in the constellation has the opportunity to be joyous, has the opportunity to know we're all taking care of the same thing. And the constellation is a huge star. It's a sun. The world is connected, not just by our hearts and our minds and our self. Our self is all of this. But we have means now of being visually and mentally and audially connected. We hear the sounds around the world. We hear the cries. We hear the pleas. We hear the prayers. And we hear the rejoicing. I do believe, as a group, we can penetrate human consciousness together by speaking at a level that invites people to know something more. And it's not just the people here. There are people online who rely on this time because they're holding something with us and they can't be here. And they... This is a new concept, the idea that you're watching and creating, co-creating together across the planet because of computers and tele telephones and cameras. Because when I think about this planet that was honored yesterday with Earth Day, it was perfectly woven together to work well. And mankind has decided that it had a better idea. It could use the parts it wanted and disregard the parts that it didn't like and just play with it as if it were owned by an individual or owned by a country or owned by someone's great mind. But the idea is we do things to irritate the world knowing we're pushing buttons when we could be pushing the on button for soaring. We could be pushing the 10, 9, ignition, lift off buttons, lift off into the amazing possibilities that will have an impact on this planet, on this earth, on this earth, on this earth. Can you ignite something in this earth and see what happens? Ignite the joy in your own experience and see what happens? I just think, I know it's a day-by-day -day thing, but the connection doesn't ever go away. Because we are woven together. Life is woven together. Life doesn't end. Changes. Changes form. Turns to ash. And we have to be new on this day. People and things come into your life because you called them. You invited them. You manifested them. You got to own it, people. <laughs> I manifested this. You did. Because not only could you handle it, because you saw the magic and the joy and the possibility right beyond the superficial, right beyond the irritation. When you see this is woven together to do something magnificent as a joyous celebration, a joyous constellation of beings, you stop thinking about the parts that don't fit and start thinking about the invitation to bring the more joy so that the constellation can function as a brilliant star and a sun. <laughs>